Right then. So this this is in lieu of a, an Andrew Tate video because I was I was going to make a video on Andrew Tate, but he's proving to be elusive. And by him, I mean he's. I really don't know what to say about the bloke. Um, and in fairness, that my my interest in the man is a little tertiary. I just uh, I just wanted the views, but. Just for a bit of fun and just to make a video, just to let everybody know I'm still here. I thought I'd, um, I'd give my opinion on this argument that's been dredged up again by uh, the YouTube channel, the Templin Institute, which um, it's it's a good YouTube channel if you like sci-fi stuff. They, they go through, um, they'll, they'll, they'll find out a whole bunch of stuff about um, some science fiction or science fantasy world or person or whatever and they'll, they'll talk about it for a bit and it's, it's not a bad it's not a bad little channel I go to it now and again if I want something on in the background for work well they, they said on Facebook and then they put made a video about it on this, this issue that's been dug in the Warhammer company um, who makes the uh, Warhammer 40,000 the, the little space marines they brought up the age-old argument of, you know, should the the main product you could say for for Warhammer is the the, the space marine models, and that's the like 30 years ago, I think one of them must have read a Robert Heinlein's um, novel, The Starship Troopers, where they had big power armor and just decided to run with that. And well, thirty thirty odd years ago, but much more than thirty years ago now. I remember playing it when I was thirteen, and it uh, well, it was um, basically back in the day they, they decided not to make these these space marine models uh, women. There was they were completely and utterly men, and then of course that was fine throughout the eighties and the nineties and. It was getting a bit dodgy towards the noughties and lo and behold people started saying well no this is this is unacceptable you need to make female models we need we need an equal opportunities to still be in future and for whatever reason games workshop has been reticent in this and it's odd because uh, the did I don't know if it was the 90s or the noughties, but they did bring out, an, um, it'll have been the, no uh, the 90s probably, they did bring out an, um, an all-female army called the Sisters of Battle, and this was sort of, I think this was sort of to tackle this, to give people, you know, little little women to build instead of little men. Um, and a lot of the other kinds of models, you know, space ogres and, you know, space elves and all this lot, they 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 got female characters, the um, the normal human models if you want, like the, the the not super soldier models. They all got women, and for some reason, they just don't want to. They just don't want to make the space moon models women, and I believe the last statistic I heard was that the space moon models are about 75% of their sales and so this has been a, a bit of a I don't know if a running debate would be the best the best way to describe it but but certainly every now and again it crops up why can't we have women space marines and people draw pictures and yeah, write little stories. I imagine I haven't read any of them, but um, no. It's very odd because they have they have went the whole hog, and I mean the whole hog. They've done backflips to include minority and minority characters, characters of different sex, uh, reasons of for you know like you don't get women, you know, space orcs because. They're not men anywhere. They're just like you know, buy you know, asexual mushrooms. I don't know. 
So, in the sexual of Muslims. Hmm. But anyway, suffice to say, the Temple Institute is boarded up again. And you know, all hell broke loose. Um, another another channel called Arch, formerly Arch Warhammer, because he liked to talk about all the Warhammer stuff. He he jumped in with both feet. I haven't seen his video because I can imagine exactly what it's like. He'll not be for it. He he is not a fan of the politically correct, for better or for worse. So we we'll sit here and I'm like, well, we're here again. I don't know if you can hear that, there's some idiots shouting outside. Anyway, now, my opinion on this is because I have been in and out and dabbled in this lot for, you know, the, all of my adult life. Even when I didn't really do much of it, I mean, I don't paint the little models anymore, not much. I mean, you can see a few at the top there. Top there. Some of the ones I painted quite a while ago. They're quite nice. I might get with some down so you can have a look at them actually. I'm quite proud of them. But I don't really I don't really do much with it. I read the I read some books now and again. Uh, they tend to get hacky sort of writers in for me. I don't like the writers. But um but definitely I read the books. I, I watch all the law channels when I'm when I need something on in the background at work when I'm working rather and you know that that's about the the level of my interest so the fact of the matter is, is I'm completely I'm completely apathetic towards it, whatever they decide to do with male and female space marines we'll say um, now that being said because this channel is a, a grey area channel where I like to consider both sides of the argument if for no other reason than for the mental af athletics that it requires it's the reasons there isn't that many reasons for it other than to please some people and it, it is something Games Workshop could easily do. They're just like, you know, right, okay, we'll just we'll start doing this. But you know, I mean, they, they say, oh, we don't want to change the the well established background for these characters, and you're just like, well, you've just brought an entire race of space dwarfs in, mate. You've just resurrected it. You know, a space elf and a fucking you know robot has just resurrected a demigod. Oops five years ago so making making some of your models women doesn't sound like a great stretch it, there isn't any logistic argument for not doing it let's just say and there isn't any purity of the law argument for not doing it that just that doesn't seem to be a great argument for doing it other than to please a lot of people who just love to seem very rude when they're asking to do it and if games workshops like anybody else, if they're like me, the temptation not to do something because somebody's just been nasty asking about it is one of the major factors. You might say it's about something else, but at the end of the day, it's the difference between somebody, could you pass me that pencil please, and how twat, pass me the fucking pencil, or I'll call your names. And you might say, well, that's, that's quite childish, and perhaps you're right, but there it is. The, the, other, the other argument against, perhaps, is, is it really necessary? Is it really that bad not to have female space marines? The, The critical drinker references this all the time. Do you really need to have somebody who's exactly the same as you in a specific role so you can relate to that role? I, I know, I know. Um, what's her face? Who was in the Hunger Games? She's she's had any amount of trouble for saying that she was the first lead 
female action star role. Um, she she caught a little bit of flack for that because of course we've had aliens and what have you. But the I mean, is it truly unpalatable for for a woman of us here because this possibly is addressed to women? Is it purely is it seriously so unpalatable that this one thing? And admittedly, it is like I said the the spearhead, the um, the, the face of the, the the franchise. Is it really un that unpalatable for them not to have? female characters. I mean, I, I, I imagine there's a lot of you leaping up and screaming and saying, yes, yes, and fair enough. I mean, I'm not a woman, I don't know. That is a genuine question. I um, I do recall, and it has happened to me when I, when you watch the likes of, uh, this is another one from the 90s, Independence Day, and we noticed a lot Back then, a lot of the time, that you didn't really see much in the way of um, foreign, a foreign influence in the films. Like Independence Day, everybody was American, and there was this one little bit <laughs> where you had like an Englishman in it, and you're just like, all right, okay, <laughs> at least there's this one Englishman in it, and then there was other. And um, but I still remember me and my friends were sitting in the pub, and we're just like. And we're all joking on saying, oh, once again, America has saved us. God bless America. <laughs> we're just sitting there in the pub like this. God bless America. Obviously, you're going to beat her. But, yeah, so there is that to consider. But, if you're going to boil it down to the brass tacks, the, the only reason to do it for Games Workshop, I would say, is that it would make them more money. And again, the only reason not to do it was because it would cost them money. Because we may all well say it's not fair and it's not right and it's not clever not to change this so it's more palatable to the modern audience, as some people are saying. But at the end of the day, all of these people clamouring for it. If you went out and said, "Oh, that's that's you want you know these these women space marines," and they'd be going, "Yes, I believe it's very necessary," and you go, "Ah, oh, it's necessary, right?" Uh, so you're going to buy some, are you? Would they say yes? Because asking somebody to spend a shitload of money on what is essentially your politics, and then, oh no, I'm not buying any. It's not for me. It's because you know you've got to, otherwise you're sexist. Well. I think I'd rather set fire to a million quid than spend a million quid on that. Because that, that is, that is to me the height of narcissism. Now, if people are going to go out and buy them, then they should make them. And I must admit, perhaps, this is a cunning ploy by Games Workshop that they know every now and again they'll get it in the papers cause of, or some form of media, perhaps not the papers. but. Perhaps this is a cunning marketing thing, a bit of free advertising for them, because oh, still they're going to kick off about there's been no female space marines. We'll kick off about that in the paper, then we'll remind everybody that we exist, and somebody might say, "Oh, I haven't read that book in a while." Perhaps. I certainly think if Games Workshop thought there was money in it, they'd do it tomorrow. If they thought that they were going to tip a million quid into it, and three million quid was going to come out to the end. They'd leave a Games Workshop shaped hole in the wall to do it. On their way to do it. And I think that's all you can really say in the subject. And I think for me, again, there's no real reason not to do it logistically, law wise, blah blah blah. But it's a financially it's a it's a financially organised company. So I personally can't criticise them. I mean, don't get us wrong. If if there was female space marines, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put. I, I wouldn't take all those off that shelf there. I wouldn't take them and tip them in the bin and say I'm betrayed. I mean, bullshit. Fuck. I think the vast majority of people wouldn't do that. But it's those are the only two real things that I would think Games Workshop 
or behooved to take into consideration. And that's all I can say on the subject.